If we use the receipt from Valente Bakery, we have already chosen our accounts and put them into a T. So, let's see what is next. Using our chart of accounts, we will have to find account numbers associated to each of the affected accounts. We can put the number for each account right above the T for future reference. Cash will be 1001, not 1010 like I wrote down. And for supplies, we will use inventory 1030. We can get rid of the dash as this is not a normal practice. Next, we need to add the date from our source. Our debit entry typically goes first, which is the increase to supplies. And next our credit, which is a decrease to our bank account. Don't forget to write down the source document reference so that if something is wrong, we can sort it out later. Every entry has to balance on the debit and credit side. Next, we will take a look at an owner's investment. Start with the same process. Decide which accounts are affected and how they need to change using the source document. Using our Alcru aid, we should assign a category to each of the affected accounts. We know 1001 is an asset, and it has increased, so it will be debited. We know 3010 is a capital account, and it has increased as well, so it will need to be credited. Should we have written this in a T account before going ahead and journalizing? Let's take a look at the general journal entry. Write down the date and add the entries as discussed. Notice I made a mistake when I started writing down the entry for my first account. Would I have made this mistake if I had have used T accounts first? I knew our cash went up, so if I had two debits we would not balance, and I knew I had to make the capital account a credit. In the end, my credit went first, but that is alright, and my journal is done!